is my history. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric, owner of Far Point Farms here in the mountains of North Carolina. Today I want to take a second to show off this earthquake log splitter. This is in a very small log splitter. You can get a stand kit so it sits higher up. I've actually been doing most of the log splitting on the back of the truck. But I put it down here next to the pile with this in the background to show you what it is capable of. So we cut our wood throughout the year and then in the fall we split it normally up until this year. Um, that just required me with an axe just splitting wood. However, due to injuries that I've sustained over this past year, I'm not really supposed to be doing that kind of work right now. So we started to look for a solution. Having never owned an electric log splitter, I wasn't sure that this thing was going to have enough power to do what I needed it to do. But I'm happy to report that this thing actually does work really well. You can see we've got about two, maybe three cords of wood that we've split this year so far. And I've got a pile still off to my right here, or left here, that we're doing some work on. And I'll just show you. Now some of this wood that I have left here, this is stuff we're not going to actually burn this year. So it may not split as well as you might imagine. But Overall, I'm really happy with it. Controls are a little bit wonky. That I don't like. I don't like the setup, but I understand the setup. They don't want you to, you know, have your hand here and be able to use one-handed operation to cut that hand off. Because believe me, as slow as this thing moves, it still means business. So when it got around to it, it would definitely take your hand off. But uh, you're just going to have to push one button down here and hold it. That activates the pump. And the other lever under here moves the slide. It's a slow operation, but it definitely does the trick. And what I've found is a lot of these pieces of wood that I'm cutting here, they're not quite long enough to make it through. So I'll just come through and split it with that. And there we go. So it works pretty well. This is really wet wood. This is wood that we're not going to be burning this year. But I did want to split some of it up because it's kind of big and it dries a little quicker if we're able to get it on there. So. Yeah, like I said, sometimes you gotta throw an extra piece in there just to help finish it off. That's pretty much it. There's not a lot to show. It just kind of does what it does. Um, it's recommended not to use this with an extension cord, but getting it, getting the pile over here and then having to move the pile again to split more wood just didn't seem really good. Now, I will say that there are have been a few pieces that just didn't want to split on the first try, but usually if you move them around a bit and get it lined up with the grain, it comes loose. I guess that'll do it for today. I'm Eric, the owner of Far Point Farm. Hope you enjoyed the video on this earthquake. Like I said, I hope Lowe's still has them in stock, but with the way things are going, it's entirely possible that you just can't find these anywhere in the country right now. But if you can get one, I'd say if you're a small homestead like ours and you're looking to move up from the old sledgehammer and axe routine to something a little bit more powerful, well, then this is probably a decent option. Till next time, my friends, take care.